Welcome back to Melbourne guys, today we're going to be catching an overnight bus from Melbourne all the way to Adelaide We haven't been on a bus here in Australia yet so we don't know what to expect But between now and then we've got about 8 hours to kill and there's still some places we want to check out in Melbourne before we leave we come down to Queen Victoria Market which is highly recommended by a lot of people in the Corvettes It's over 140 years old and there's over 600 stalls They've got so many things here They've got clothes, they've got a bunch of Australian merch. If you've got anything to do with Australia, this is the place to come. They've got bags, shoes, literally everything, and we've only just walked in. One of the things that we would highly recommend to try out is these jam donuts from the American Donut Kitchen. It's basically like a big VW bus and the line was really long so it must be really popular because yeah there was a pretty long wait. There's about a 10-15 minute wait. Yeah I would say so. Didn't realise these donuts were that big, I thought they were like bite sized but they're actually pretty big. Oh my god they're so warm. Oh. Okay I'm excited. That's good. I didn't really get much of the jam, so I'm going to go in for a second. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I've got sugar all over my face. Yeah, so much sugar. It's just no way it's really, is there? Having a warm jam donut just seems to be really good. Yeah. A <laughs> really had, good idea. Yeah, I've just never had a warm jam donut. Also, that's all they sold. There was no other option of any other donut apart from warm jam donuts. I heard that these are like the original shop fronts that they had. Oh, you can kind of see that. They look really old fashioned. And they've just sort of like redone them a bit. But yeah, this is how it would have looked when it first opened. That's so cool. Quick fun facts about the Queen Victoria Market, it's all powered by solar panels and it's actually the largest indoor market in the southern hemisphere. Definitely worth checking it out. If you do come, get the donuts. Okay, uh, I may have just made an impulsive decision. We've just purchased a drone. I don't know if that was a good idea, but I'm excited. Okay guys, this is our bus for tonight. Doesn't look fancy at all. Just looks like a standard coach. But we will see what it has to offer on board. I'm quite excited. Is that bad? Uh, you got to take 41, 42. That's right. Okay, this is home for nine hours. Looks pretty good. This is it. It's quite a bit of legroom actually. Well, there's actually loads of legroom. The seats are really comfortable as well. Ooh. Okay, it's probably quite dark, so you probably can't see us. Oh, no, you can't. That's no, all right. This is us for nine hours. I think this will be okay. I can't believe how much leg will. We have never been on a bus where your legs haven't touched the seat in front. Well, the seat goes quite well, Yeah, I'm surprised with how much leg room is on this bus. Literally, like... <laughs> I feel like I'm never... I don't really good. know. It's quite hard to show. I know. I feel like I'm never a good representation because I'm short. So I've always got leg room. But you're a pretty good example. Yeah, there's loads of room for our bags to go as well because up there there's not that much room all the time. So normally we try and put our bags just down here. I am happy with this, are you? I'm very happy. We'll see how it goes. Oh, there's some charges as well, I've just seen. Oh. Hopefully they work. Oh, goodness, he goes back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem to be that many people on here. It's about a quarter full, maybe. I'm happy with that. Normally we have full buses. Full or to the brim buses, so. Hopefully it's it'll be quiet. Oh, oh and we're leaving. We're leaving, yeah, there's no one else going on. Awesome, because there's no one behind us, so we can recline our seats back. So I hate reclining my seat back when there's someone behind me. I normally don't do it. Yeah, normally. So, fingers crossed. The driver just said no one else is going to move us, so we can move behind there and have a row each.
Currently quarter 11, so far it's pretty fine. I don't know whether it's the roads in Australia that are a bit bumpy, or whether it's our driver. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit like this every now and then. I haven't had any sleep yet, but hopefully we'll get some sleep when we start going again. It's quite dark as well. Yeah, you turn all the lights off. Like, I've got the torch on, but like, that's how dark it normally is. And there is a toilet too. And we are close to the toilet, and I was a little bit concerned, but barely anyone used it. I think one person well, used it. There's no one on the bus, isn't it? There's barely anyone on the bus. Yeah. Nine hours later, we made it to Adelaide. It is 6 a.m. at the moment, so we can't check into a hotel. The bus was surprisingly okay. Yeah, like, very, very clean. There was so much leg room that I managed to actually like squeeze on the floor and I had a couple of hours sleep on the floor. Both are cheaper and I'm not mad about it. I don't actually feel that tired. We're just heading to our hotel now to check in. Look at the weather today. There is not a single cloud in the sky. It's going to be pushing 35 degrees. Yep. We're staying in an area called Fruville, which is just outside the city centre. I'll put a map up here. You can get the bus into the city centre, or it's about an hour's walk. We're staying in the Fruville Motor Inn Motel. It looks cool. It's giving me like American vibes with a motel. This is a nice little cute place. It is lovely. I think it's like a family run business for the looks of it. Nice little seating area outside. Ooh, this is so nice. Fridge and a microwave as well, that'll come in handy. Oh, oh. the shower's quick, Oh. Got all our little amenities. We got a toaster oh. too. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Oh, this is needed after a bus ride. Okay, we... Oh. Well, Although you save a lot of money by taking an overnight bus, it definitely takes its toll on you, so you definitely sort of need the day after to recover a little bit, I would say. We've got loads of cool things planned for our time here in Adelaide. We want to test the drone up today, but I think for now we're just going to have a shower and grab a nap and then... Head out and try the drone for the first time. Yes, yeah, so we'll see you when we're ready to go for the drone. And apparently we have to charge this. Uh, we didn't charge this. I read that you have to charge the batteries on the drone, but... Yeah. Have you ever flown a drone before? No. Have you read any of the instruction booklet in regards to this drone? No. Did you even open the book? Not the no. <laughs> oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> Why haven't we had one of these before? <laughs> it's coming for me! <laughs> this is the moment of truth. Kelsey! <laughs> He's gonna be using it. I've given her a little crash course of the 10 minutes that I had to play it. Which is basically how you get up in the air. Oh, it's windy in here. I love it so much. 